50% of Americans suffer with back pain. We've all seen the gadgets to help, but which ones really work? Bob has some answers. Bob up. will be back officially on camera. So, is your back aching? For many of us, yes, mm -hmm. at some point. Some 80% of Americans have or will suffer from back pain sometime in their lives. So Bob joins us with the truth about finding relief. Yeah, There's 80%, kind of so think about that's, this. That's just, I, I asked the doctor, and he said, you know, just about everybody yeah, is gonna have some kind some of a point. pain. And so the market is saturated with gadgets, holistic therapies that claim to provide some relief. We spoke with an orthopedic surgeon to find out what really works. <clears throat> Finding relief from debilitating back pain can be even more frustrating with so many so-called solutions on the market. From devices to creams, what actually works? We sought out an expert who has your back, literally. A lot of times the answer is more, more simpler than you think, and you don't have to spend a lot of money on basic stuff. Beverly Hills orthopedic spine surgeon Dr. Human Malamed is giving us a thumbs up or thumbs down on some popular products promising relief for your aching back. Dr. Malamed gives the first thumbs up to the back brace, but with a warning, he says don't use it for more than three days. It's okay to have a brace for two or three days to help you get out of bed, move around, you know, it kind of helps you stable, but then you have to start you know, allowing your own muscles to do the work because otherwise you'll become dependent on that, which is not good long term. You start losing muscle mass. The doctor also gives a thumbs up to foam rollers. Basically, you can just get it and go straight, uh, don't bend like that, but straight up and down roll on it. Against a wall or on the floor, he says it's beneficial to treat back spasms. The great thing about it is that you can adjust the pressure how you want it. So you can push as hard as you want or as little as you want, and you feel the pressure. We asked him about this trendy massage tool. So the nice thing about it is whatever, like even you can dig in there, like dig in there how you want it. I mean, it's pretty good actually, because you can really play around with it, the different areas, like you can reach in the back. But Dr. Malamed says if you don't want to spend the money, you can always do the same thing with a tennis ball. When it comes to creams to relieve back pain, he tells us his patients use this natural homeopathic remedy. It's a great natural remedy when you have, like, you throw out your back. Finally, we asked Dr. Malamed about acupressure mats. I have never recommended this product. It's like this prickly, it is so sharp. I mean, here, Austin, try this. I mean, this is very prickly, so I don't even know how you can uh, sleep on it or lay on it. They're intended to increase circulation and decrease pain. Instead of going to an acupuncturist, you kind of do your own acupuncture at home using this, the like acupressure points are supposed to be, but I would not recommend it. I think a, a, a good acupuncturist, you know, would be the way to go to see somebody who knows what they're doing. Dr. Malamed says if you have any radiating or shooting pains or any numbness or weakness, seek professional help. To get an MRI, get treated, go see a spine surgeon, get evaluated properly to make sure there's nothing um, urgent going on about your condition, to make sure then you're on the right path to get treated. And Dr. Malamed says the big part of any recovery is actually diet. He says avoid inflammatory foods like pasta and milk and cheese. Mm. To fight inflammation, he recommends salmon, which he says is high in omega-3 fatty acids. Dark leafy green vegetables like spinach and broccoli are also good. And he also gives a thumbs up to dark chocolate and red wine. Oh, well then. Yes. then. <laughs> right? He didn't excuse <laughs> there. Okay, sold. Yeah, no, so many. And, and the older you get, uh -huh. like the more prone you are to have these injuries. Injuries that can be more severe and last a much longer yes. period of time. Or right? just pain in general. It could start from what right. shoes you're wearing, how you're walking. That's true. You the know? shoes are a big factor. Right. What you're lifting, your yeah. bags. Yeah. You're I, I was injured pretty seriously once we were with my back and my, my baseline change is fine now, but it's never going to be <laughs> the same back that I had when I was. And once you have 30. a back injury and it goes away, are you more prone to get it again? I feel like it is. Uh, and for me, I always stretch a lot. I stretch a lot before any kind of workout or strenuous activity that seems yeah. to help also too. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, Bob. Nice to sure. have you with us.